Hi everyone. Today we've got an interesting little walk here. This is a JPM Surf. Um, this is a, as you can see, a Euro format lock. Um, it's got two locking mechanisms. It's got a sidebar and a set of top stacks. Uh, and so I'll go through both of those real quick before we get over to picking. So number one, um, I just want to show on the key here, because I'll talk about this in a second. Uh, you can see this is the bidding for the sidebar, and then we've got bidding for the top stacks. I'll talk about the sidebar when I get over to that, but there's your key. So the top stacks of this are um, just a set of pretty basic kind of um, spooling here. Uh, it's not quite gin spooling, um, but maybe a little, little barrel-ish, almost like a MNC, I would say. Um, it does interact with the plug, which does have milling in it, as you can see there. So it's got some light milling, um, which is designed to catch on these pins as they are pushed through, just like that, right there. And you just gotta pop them out. So, um, some security mechanisms on the top stacks, but that's really not um, the difficult part with this lock. The difficult part is definitely these side pins. And I'll grab one of these here. So these side pins are interesting. They have a true gate, as you can see, and then they have a bunch of false gates. Um, so you do have to lift these to the true gate. Uh, the interesting part here is if you look at how they are designed. So when they are in the lock, um, this little nub here is the part that sticks into the keyway that has to be manipulated by the key. And you can see it's offset there. And this one is on the uh, if it was in the lock, it would be, I guess, in the rear. But they're not all like that. Some of them, uh, when they're in the lock, like this one, uh, they wouldn't be in the rear too. Hold on. Some of them are on the other side. So, like, I know one and two are organized so that one would be towards the back of the lock. But then number two would be towards the front. So these two nubs on one and two would be directly next to each other, and then there would be a big gap before you got to three. So um, kind of interesting there. And the way that that functions with the key is you can see that the key looks like there's not five spots here, there's 10. And so the nub will interact with one of these, but you don't know which one unless you know the pinning of the lock. Um, the little serrations on those side pins interacts with the side bar, which you can see is also serrated, and it looks like waves. I don't know if that's why they called it a surf, uh, but I hope so, because that's pretty cool. So yeah, kind of a unique little sidebar here, um, that is designed to interact specifically with those side pins, uh, and catch on them, and make them a little difficult to lift. Um, so the side pins on mine... Uh, or on this one that I was picking, are um, a low lift, kind of a medium lift, a low lift, a medium lift, and a low lift. I think there's one extra height that would be a high lift, um, but there were no high lift pins in this one. So, um, But you do have to touch them all. They don't start um, set. So even the low lift ones, you kind of have to sneak under and give them just a little tap up. Uh, I think that's everything in terms of security mechanisms. So it's not too crazy, but um, definitely uh, a little hard to manipulate especially in terms of, um, this one did not isolate, so the side pins and the top stacks kind of mixed a little bit. Uh, and definitely, you know, those serrations on these pins um, interact very well with the sidebar, and there's a couple times when I get it, uh, one of the side pins is completely locked up, and I have to pull back on rotation a little bit um, just to uh, give it a tap to move it up a little bit. Um, so pretty effective uh, in terms of what it is, um, but not, not too terribly difficult. Um, once you kind of get used to the feedback on the side pins. I had a lot of trouble figuring the side pins out in the beginning. Um, I actually had to go down in just two um, just to figure out kind of how to set them. Um, but once I got that down, um, it was it was pretty fast work from there. So, all right, we'll get over to the next section and get it up in a vise and you will see it picked. All right, where's my JPM surf? First, I'm just going to 
Let's see if there's anything in the top stack that wants to get pushed up uh, into the milling. Which will give me a little tiny bit of plug rotation. side pins here. The side pins on this are interesting because they are not, um, the pins are themselves are evenly spaced, but the, uh, I guess the fingers that enter the keyway are on one side of the pin or the other. So they are slightly offset, um, and there can be either no gap between two pins or a big gap between two pins, depending on whether they are, you know, both the same direction, I guess, or not. Um, which can make it kind of tricky to figure out where you are on the side pins. This has a couple really low lift side pins that um, you just barely have to touch. So I'm trying to not overset those. But then there are a couple higher lift ones in here too, so. Just making sure I'm on the right pin and then lifting it uh, past the serrations on the sidebar. stack is not binding yet, so I feel like uh, maybe pin four on the side pins I didn't get right, which would be this one right here. Feels okay. Two feels okay. Three feels okay. Okay, four is definitely a problem here. Okay. Let's see. 
see what I dropped getting four up. Definitely getting more binding out of the top now. Double check the sides here. I'm a little concerned about um, the rearmost side pin. Because it feels really bound up, and I think it needs like a tiny lift to get up there. Feeling like that's the problem. Three, four. Yeah, I think I can't even get my pick under it, so I'm gonna let tension off a little bit and see if I can tap that. Oh, there we go. All right. So, yep, five was stuck. I left tension, tapped it up, and then I just needed to tap one. So, uh, tricky, but not terrible. here today. Alright, so that's definitely open. I'm gonna relock it. Okay. And take off the C clip. And you can get this through the top, but I think I'm actually going to do the whole thing 
Stupid chambers, so I just need to get my follower here. Because uh, then you'll be able to see the orientation of the pins as I pull them out. Alright. So, key first. So there's the sidebar. And I'm gonna grab the sidebar springs out. There's one. Don't wanna drop the key pins yet. sidebar springs and I'll do the key pins next Guy, if you pull the key out, the side pins are gonna fly out. So, hold on one second. I caught one with my finger. I'm holding onto it right now. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so here's the side pins. So that one, I pulled the key part way out and it started to pop up. So uh, it is sticking out. But here's five. This all organized on one tray. So there's your side pin spring. Okay. Four. Three. Just shot out. But here's two. And get those springs. Okay. So there's a plug. And you can see the milling in here. It's um it's shallow, but it's there. And the spools in this, I don't think, are meant to be like gin spools. They they act a little more like barrels. So, and I'm just gonna grab the drivers, and then I'll show everything all together. So now you can see the orientation of the barrel there. Came out with the spring. And there's six. All right. 
right, there we go. Fully disassembled. Uh, let's show the sidebar real quick here. So there's the sidebar. You can see the serrations on it. I think that's why it's called a surf. So that's kind of unique. And then grab one of the side pins up here I'm close. So you can see the there's the big true gate and the false gates right there. And then that's what I was talking about with the lever, the fingers being offset. So they're on one side or the other. And here's all the pins up close. Yeah, there's the false gates on that one, that one, you can see on that one, and on that one. So you can see the serrations on all these, and then your drivers up here just have these little kind of barrel spooling on the bottom, which is not the hard part on this lock. The, um, the side pins and the sidebar, definitely the hardest part. And then there's your key. So you can see how it's got 10 cuts on the side. So theoretically, um, if you don't know whether the pins are left or right, you wouldn't know what cuts you would need here. So interesting. There you go. JPM Surf, uh, kind of a fascinating little lock. Um, tough, but fun. So there you go. Thank you for watching.